Hey, hello, thanks for joining me today at Liz at Home. Today I'm going to be colouring in, I'm doing just a colour and chat actually, so it's not a colour along. I won't finish this, but I'm going to be starting the skin of this beautiful Christine Karen image. It's called Joys of Summer Grayscale. I bought it on her Etsy. It's also the same images in her Fairies and Fantasy 3 book. So I'm doing it as a body colour with Hike Adjust. And I'm going to be using for the skin, I've just been watching a Julie Booth tutorial on a different skin and I'm, I've chosen to use the colors she used. So credit to her for the choice of the skin colors. We're using Brown Ochre Prismacolor 943, Salmon Pink Prismacolor PC1001, Prismacolor Beige, PC997, and then Prismacolor White, PC938, and then just a little bit for the blush of Prismacolor Blush Pink 928. I don't know if I'll get that far, but I'm just going to be doing a color and chat, and I hope you'll enjoy so as we're starting i've decided to speed this coloring up a little bit and i'm going to be talking a little bit about the benefits of coloring for mental health i know a lot of us in the coloring community there are a number of people that talk about struggling with their mental health and what i understand by what they're saying is that they struggle with things like depression and tiredness and chronic illness and such such problems. So I wanted to talk about how mental stress is detrimental to our health and how it can also lead to physical problems. If you have constant stress, then things that can develop are things like high blood pressure, digestive issues. And so rather than using food or alcohol to relieve our stress, after a difficult work day or after a difficult day looking after the children or after looking after an elderly parent, it's a great thing for us in the colouring community to colour. And it's nice to have an assortment of colouring books, crayons and various materials to bring joy to our lives and help us with our mental stress. Um, if you're depressed, then it's actually been proved that colouring therapy can lift your mood. When you're feeling sad, you can choose brightly colored colors and pages that have a positive or a happy theme or even words that kind of help you, um, happy words, or if you have a, a religious affiliation, words that fill into that belief system of yours. And then you can choose great colors that can help lift your mood and also you can do things that work towards your emotional center of your brain while you color things like flowers and if you concentrate on positive thoughts and if you even say affirmative positive affirmations while you color this can help. It's also been proved that I, something that I feel really pleased about that um, colouring helps with keeping dementia conditions at bay. So um, because of the mindfulness and the choices being made and the end result of creating a gorgeous artwork, you can find that these things help stimulate the synapses in your brain so that it helps to keep the brain exercised and that's another great thing to do and it's a great thing to do with your grandchildren and to give you something in common with your grandchildren. People that suffer from anxiety also find adult coloring books that help you focus on mindfulness to help you feel better. So I'm going to talk a little bit later about some of the properties of different colors, but colors that help reduce anxiety are colors like shades of blue or pale pink, and they've been proven to be very soothing and they can help you feel calmer. 
So it's sometimes nice to have on hand some different color palettes that you can use if you're feeling anxious. And you will probably notice that when you're coloring, your breathing becomes slower. And so symptoms like digestive stress decline when you're coloring as well because of the calming of the anxiety and the better breathing and the joy of using color. Another thing that coloring has been proven to be grateful for is that it helps stimulate your own creativity. Um, after coloring for a while, you may discover this desire to try different media or it may bring you in touch with seeing nature. I know that I discovered when I started coloring, all of a sudden I was seeing things. I was seeing the colors in the sky. I was seeing the colors on the trees. I was seeing what a difference light, the play of light made to things. And it gave me a huge sense of excitement and renewed joy in simply being alive. So that's one of the other things that I think coloring can help with. Now I wanted to look at some of the psychology of colors. Um, again, in reading, I'm no expert in any of this. I just want to give a disclaimer. These are just things that I found through my personal use and personal doing. But the way that we see and perceive color each day greatly impacts our lives. It does so mostly though on a subconscious level. So understanding color psychology and how colors can be useful to help relieve anxiety and stress is a way to make the most out of the atmospheres you surround yourself in each day. Why do colors impact us emotionally? Seeing various colors can evoke emotion in us due to connections with real life experience, as well as how we feel a color is interpreted. While some colors are bright or dark by nature, others are muted or paler in comparison, allowing for drastically different interpretations. Color psychology is one of the most common tricks used in marketing and in order to encourage shoppers to make purchases or to remember brands and advertisements a brand is currently running. Some interesting colors and facts about them. The color green is often used with companies that are trying to promote sales or work with money like banks or financial apps. The color green helps to encourage shopping while also putting trust in the brand relating the color itself to money. I find that amazing. In many corporate situations, businesses choose to go with the color blue as it symbolizes trustworthiness and professionalism. Isn't that interesting? Because of the neutrality and trustworthiness associated with the color blue and businesses, companies like Facebook, Twitter, and even Reddit have all defaulted to using the color blue to draw in new users while keeping the attention of current ones. Isn't it amazing that like just color can do that? Then we've got peaceful and calming colors. Peaceful and calming colors are also found in advertising and marketing, along with plenty of pampering and soothing products on the market. Popular peaceful and calming colors include pale and light blues and greens, along with deeper muted versions of the colors. Blue and green often symbolize serenity and a sheer sense of calmness, ideal for office or bedroom settings, where the goal is to either remain focused or relaxed. I've also noticed that the color pink is used so often in beauty products, and I suppose that's because of the feminine connotations going along with it. So it's quite interesting thinking about color psychology um, and how colors impact your mood when you're coloring. You don't have to, but it's just interesting to see that and to start seeing how your choice of colors impacts your mood or maybe how your mood impacts your choice of colors. 
another thing that has possibly occurred simultaneously to adult coloring becoming popular is journaling. And because of the increase in people journaling, people have started coloring in their journals. And even alongside that, Bible journaling has grown along with that. And people are coloring in their Bibles. And I'm not sure I happen to be a practicing Christian. So that's the belief system that I follow. But I'm not sure and I'd be interested to know if this happens in other belief systems and holy books. So adult coloring is really not a new concept, but it's one many people aren't sure they understand. Sure, coloring's fun. It reminds you of a simpler time in your life when you were a child and coloring was a fun pastime. Now it's an escape and it reminds you of the joy found in simplicity and it's a creative outlet. But what you might not know is coloring in an adult coloring book is more than fun time. It's a mental break filled with benefits designed to help you ease stress. Have you heard, and I'm not sure how to pronounce the word, amygdala, A-M-Y-G-D-A-L-A, -A, amygdala. If not, you've certainly heard of a fight or flight response. This is what happens when you're overwhelmed, overworked and anxious. It gets worked up and leaves you feeling panicked. Coloring helps calm the amygdala, which can help you focus on a more positive life experience. To give you the Google definition of amygdala, it's the region of the brain primarily associated with emotional processes. The name amygdala is derived from the Greek word amygdale, meaning almond, owing to the structure's almond-like shape. And the amygdala is located in the medial temporal lobe, just in front of or anterior to the hippocampus. Now you've learned something, haven't you? Um, the way that adult coloring encourages mindfulness is that it takes a great deal of time and effort to color a page in a book made for adults. We can see this simply in this face that I'm coloring and the number of layers I'm using to do that. So I hope you've enjoyed my little chatting about color and mindfulness and the benefits our great hobby has on us. I am using in this picture, I'm actually using a paper by Fabriano. It's a mixed media 250 GSM paper and I'm really loving it and it's taking layer after layer. I think I ended up doing something like seven layers on the skin of this lady and I really enjoyed every minute of coloring this page. You can see the completed page when I show you all my completed pages at the end of the month. And now I'm going to put on some beautiful music by Epidemic Sound. I love their choice of music and I've taken out a subscription to it again for this month and for that I need to say thank you to the kind donation on coffee that I received from one of my wonderful subscribers. I want to thank all of you for your comments, they really mean the world to me and I would like to ask you if you have enjoyed the video to click that little like button and if you're not already a subscriber to possibly consider subscribing. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the video.
now we've reached the end of our video. I've completed another layer off screen and I did her eyes and mouth off screen and there she is and I'd like to thank you so much for watching and spending time with me. Have a wonderful and colorful week. Bye-bye now.